What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are back here on Addingham Park, map by GB Modding. And I got the homie on here, La Muerte, a little multiplayer action. What's up, bro? How's it going? Going good. What's up with you? Oh, man, just going to get this field. Uh, what is this? Field 35 mowing going right kind of where we left off. And um, you're over there what, harvesting. What are you harvesting over there? Uh, canola at the moment. Nice. So he's going, he's taking care of, uh, what is that, field 36 little field yeah. up there, right? It's like it's hard to see. It's like right in the front of our little farm. He's getting he's harvested, get harvested out. And repurposed for later. And what are we gonna be doing later? What's carrots? the plan? What's the plan over there? Carrots, maybe. Yeah, some carrots. Never harvested carrots. That'd be fun. Do we have to get a different planter for that? We just need a planter. Just, just a planter? Any planter, huh? Yeah, a planter. Yeah, any, yeah a planter, because we don't have one yet. <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of mowing to do, though. You know, if I got to keep on doing this mowing, actually, I might, I might start looking into getting one of those big M's pretty soon. And for 8.49, 8.48 in the morning, it's dark. That's one thing about GB's maps, they're always, like, in the shadows. Six Ashes was the same way, in the shadows, it's always so dark. Yeah. But in the shadows, you know, are realistically dark. Everybody's having a good night tonight out there. Good old Monday night, or I guess Tuesday morning, right? Depending on where you're at. Yeah, it'd be early Tuesday morning across the pond. Yeah. Or. Oh, good morning, everybody over there. <laughs> yeah. I think for some of them, the time difference is six hours. So it's Possibly. like four in the morning over there for him right now. That's why a lot of them can't make it to the streams also because, you know, it's like four in the morning or if I'm doing it a little bit early, it's yeah. three in the morning, you know, and they're still sleeping. If I do a late stream, sometimes they're catching me at like five in the morning. Felden, though, he'll be on because he's on the East Coast, so it's only a three-hour difference and he gets home from work late, I think. So usually when he's heading home, he can catch us. Nice. Yeah. Did you happen to check out any of uh, Heavy Metal Gaming and Country Bumpkin and Matty? Yeah, Matty Five? I was watching some of that. Oh, were you? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I didn't see you on there. I'm a moderator on um, Heavy Metal Gaming's YouTube channel now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's fun stuff. I wish I could join them on there, but I'm not on PC. So <laughs> I can't join them. But I've popped oh. in every now and again just to see what was going on. Have you popped in on Discord yet? Uh, no. Was I supposed to? Well, next time you go on there and you see if they're live, join them and hit voice chat. You could just you could talk to them while they're because they're only streaming it to Discord when they're doing that. They don't do YouTube oh. every time. So yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you go in there and you can actually talk to them while they're playing. It's actually really fun. I've the last couple days I've been watching them through Discord and like uh -huh. talking, chatting with them while while driving in my car, doing stuff like <laughs> that too from chatting with them while they're playing on Lucas doing their challenge. <laughs> I saw that they're on the voice chat, but I also saw that they're streaming, so it was just like, yeah. Yeah, when they're, I, th I believe when they're on Discord streaming, it's only to Discord. Yeah. I, I was trying to, I thought I was going to be able to go in and chat with them uh, through Discord on their YouTube, which I can do, but they didn't want just anybody jumping in and saying whatever on their stream. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think we just need to figure out a way to set up the Discord where it could be like, only certain people can get onto the voice chat. 
If you make it a private voice chat, then only certain roles could be allowed in. Yeah, see, something like that I think would be, uh, we'll have to do something like that. Because it's cool, because I, I felt like I was part of their stream, even mm -hmm. though I wasn't actually playing. And it was coming through really well, too. I keep turning off the mower, but it, like I have to turn both of them off if I want them both off. It's like in between like my turning of the end of my runs with the mower, I want to turn off to go faster, but then I don't want to turn off because I have to shut both of them down each time. Yeah. So it's like, ah, I just go a little bit slower and not worry about shutting them off. Maybe in 22 we'll get something that uh, will shut off both implements if it's the same one. That'd be cool. Did you watch that trailer? Which one? For the map? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, dude. I know. It's like... I need to... I'll watch it when some... Once I'm unloading this, because it's almost full again. Yeah, everybody out there watching this, make sure you go watch Ola Holdor... Haldor, sorry. Um, he has the new FS-22 Ren... Renubu? I'm not sure how you say that, but the... The whip update September 2021. Go check out that for FS22. Awesome, awesome, beautiful work. Make sure everybody goes show him some love. Even though he already has like 460 something thumbs up on there, and a few days, 10,000 views on there already. But um, show him some more love because he's just doing awesome work, man. It's crazy some of the people that we chat with, some of the work they do. Pretty insane. Oh, yeah. Like Heavy Metal, they're talking about a lot of the mods they're using on Lucas right now. A lot of the uh -huh. mods on there weren't even on Mod Hub until after they started using them. Like they put it on there, basically? Yeah. Like them using it, that, you know, it's like their mod and then they put it out and then it became a thing on Mod Hub after that, you know? Oh, yeah. It's just crazy, though. Like Maddie's been doing the the update to those auto sheds you see any of that uh -huh. that's only for pc though i believe yeah but like stuff like that's awesome do you plan on playing on pc eventually or console for a no, while i don't know a P pc obviously looks cool to get all the crazy mods but at the same time Console is like a nice middle ground. It sure is. Because <laughs> you don't get crazy stuff, but you do at the same time. Yeah. And like the beginning of like the crossplay too, everyone's like, oh, you know, crossplay is going to suck for console players, but it won't be that bad. Because it's really not. when we first start, there won't be that many mods for any of us. Yeah. But like Heavy Metal and Maddie and everybody's talking about setting up a, a server where we can, or at least like gameplay, not even, not maybe not a full server, but, uh, yeah. you know, a, a map where we can play with a PC console type, so we can all play. Hey, what's up, Marcus? How's it going, buddy? Thanks for jumping in here. Oh, Marcus Hunt. Hello. Hopefully you're doing well. I never know with you sometimes, Marcus. You're sometimes in the hospital, sometimes working, you know, sometimes <laughs> could be anything. <laughs> but hopefully you're doing well. So yeah, after this, I'm gonna go and get that Crone Squadron. Will this tractor pull that? Which one, the uh, 700? Yeah, is that what I have? 7020? Uh, or 7200? Yeah, seven, 700. Hang on, I'll look right. I forget what horse this has. You are at 240 horses. 240, yeah. And the Swadro, I think the Swadro only prior, yeah, 145, so it'll uh, be alright. Yeah, nice. Because I love that thing, but not when it gets too, too much hills and stuff going on. It starts to slide, but I think we'll be okay on these fields. 
It's not very hilly here. It's pretty no. flat. But man, I think we'll start sliding out on the oddest places sometimes. Sometimes I'll go at the hill with it. Yeah. That way it's not sliding down the hill. I love the swath though, so if we get that and the milling machine. We'll see with that, we might need to get that trailer too. We don't have a truck yet either, so. We might need to go one more round. Oh, I guess what we did though, we started filling up the silo, huh? I forgot about that. The bunker. Do we have a silo? The silage clamp. Oh, the, the bunker, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna fold this one up here to get through. Because I forgot we weren't gonna bail this field. I forgot we were going to. Um... I didn't really. I guess I didn't forget because I was talking about doing the. Getting the milling machine and the swadro and stuff. Yeah. That way we can fill up that bunker quick. But then we'll have to compact it down quick. <laughs> That's why doing the bales is tight. It's no big deal. We got a couple big tractors that should be. Shouldn't be too bad. What for? Oh, compacting? Yeah. see how it goes. We got a pretty pretty good chunk in there already. I wonder what's in there. That's a decent amount of grass off of this field. We've mowed this already one time, right? We've yeah, mowed it like that, twice, I think. I think this is the second mowing now. Because that was the third mowing there for that other field. Yeah. Because our first one we did that field, and our oh. we bought this one. Yeah, 34, this is the second time. Yeah. On 35, it's been 3. Yeah, correct. I'm just going to park this trailer by the uh, diesel tank. Boom. Got 8,700 liters of canola in it at the moment. Oh, nice. Is that what you got off of that field? Yeah. Total? Yeah, total. 8,700? Mm-hmm. Marcus, how you said, well, I'm Granted. off work now for at least a month with my treatment, so, but, treatment, so, but, I'm spending time with my family, so not so bad. Well, that's good. How am I? I'm doing well. Hopefully you get better soon. Uh, Joss, what's up, man? He said, oh my, live again. Yeah, we'll see how tonight goes. We got La Muerte on here with us tonight, so there's a couple of us that can, might, might get into some trouble. Joss was watching me last night, how not to farm on Spectacle. Watching too many of his videos. <laughs> uh -huh. I went back and re I was watching some of your No Man's Land. Joss, I think it was your most recent video. I was on there earlier watching. Some of the stuff he does is funny. Like when you go and grab that DB120, it's just like wide open. <laughs> you don't even want to unfold it. You just go and grab it, unfold it already, and start using it. <laughs> that thing's so huge. I don't know if I'll ever want to use that one. Maybe. You could fast farm with that too, can't you? Yep. Jeez. Like the 60 is good, you know? 120 is insane. <laughs> you did some cotton tran- uh, you said export, some transport, yeah. There he goes. I'm off to the shop. That's why it's fun being on uh, multiplayer because it always feels way more alive having multiple people playing. Oh yeah. Yeah, close this gate. This gate is in my way. And I love the fact that go to here, I close it. Not like in the middle of the opening, you know. You actually go to the gate itself. It's pretty cool. Yeah.
These fields yield out really well grass for not doing anything to it. I guess we're not on precision farming, we're not playing seasons, right? <laughs> I'm so yeah, used to with, doing both of those. With grass, it's either like half yield or full yield. Yeah. No weeds or anything. Yeah. Which is different. Because, man, yeah. I tell you what, on Spectacle, the grass that I just like fertilized and it was already growing there. I can field uh -huh. seven on Spectacle, which is a big field. The two, one and two field I did were up at the main farm where I did all of the liming and fertilizing all the whole nine yards on all that after getting rid of all the trees. Um, those two fields did amazing. Like, probably some of the best yielding grass I've ever done on, on Farm Sim. And I, I feel like I've done other grass like that on Seasons, but maybe I haven't. I've just done it on, mm -hmm. like... On Six Ashes, I did some fields where I redid the grass. And it was yielding out really well, too. But on there, it's just like, wow. So, like, eventually, it'd be nice to redo the fields into our own grass. But I guess yeah. it's that, that was only that was on precision farming. Which, like, I wouldn't mind doing precision farming on this map. That's how I did Spectacle as well. Yeah, somebody gave me a thumbs down already. That's cool. <laughs> would they expect to see? <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, what, what do you want to see? That's right. Everyone saw I get a hater on here. No big deal. Yeah. That's to be expected. They were talking about the heavy metal was talking about that today, where it's like one person will jump on there. And, drop a thumbs down like every one of his videos or something he was talking about but like you know that's just the more popular you get the more haters you get too so I'm not that popular that's why I have one <laughs> got one hater on there still gave me a view exactly <laughs> they're still helping yep thank you come again Driving the uh, the fence in five fifteen in first person. Nice. And the clock on the dashboard is off by one minute. Oh, you better fix it. Is it ahead or behind? It's behind. Ah, you gotta fix it. If it was ahead one minute, that'd be fine. Sometimes I'll have the clock in my car set like three minutes ahead so I'm always a little bit ahead so if I'm like on time to my clock I'm three minutes ahead by my work clock yeah and not that it really matters that much it's like they don't really they're not worried about how long my breaks are I do a good job taking care of myself <laughs> Joss said fix that clock <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> That'd be so cool. Have you watched any videos from, um, I think I already talked to you about this, but um, Fishing the North Atlantic? No. Oh, man, you gotta check that out. That game is insane. Joss, have you watched any of that videos from uh, Fishing the North Atlantic videos? It's a game. It's on console, PC, all that. Man, That's a that game is very interactive. You got a crew that works on the boat and stuff that you get to control, and man, all kinds of stuff. There's like crab boats and lobster boats and huge fishing vessels you get to work up to, like some pretty insane stuff. Yeah, but you can like work all the buttons in the wheelhouse and stuff. You just like look at it with like your cursor, and you can like make almost you can like adjust all the seat, your view, and you can adjust everything. It's a really really cool interactive game. Joss said, grab hammer and hit buttons. <laughs> Is that how you fix that clock? <laughs> Just smash it. Smash something, it will fix itself. You said you have not, you you don't watch much besides what your friends publish? Uh, yeah, I understand that. But you should definitely give that game a look, though, Joss. It's, it's, 
it's quite the game. Even the water, uh, the water in the ocean looks really good, and it's very farm sim like. But you're on a boat and you're fishing. You know, it's it's, it's yeah. pretty neat. You guys should check it out. I think that'll be one of the games that I'll I'll definitely have. I just I was trying to look for it like GameStop, but nobody carries it off to order it. But that game looks awesome, man. My buddy uh, Irish Wolf Gaming is actually the first person I saw, which is one of the people I follow. He hasn't came out with any content in a long time, which I miss him being on. He's like one of the people that started me on streaming. Uh -huh. uh, but he, he was playing that game, and that's how I first saw it. But there's this big YouTuber named Dre. He does a bunch of games and stuff. He has like millions of subscribers or something crazy. Um, he plays that, and he has some insane stuff on there. Is it on uh, are you suggesting how not to fish? Yeah, there you go. New series, how not to fish. <laughs> uh, that's funny. How not to crab. But yeah, it's it's a pretty realistic game. It's actually badass. All the different fish finders, and you can go in all your different screens on the computers. Like you know, you jump into a tractor and you can't see any of the screens. They're there, but you can't like look at them, you know, close enough and see all that yeah. stuff. On that game, you can look, you can, like, click on the screen and it pops up as, like, your main view. Like, you're looking right at the monitor and, like, all the fish finders and everything all work. And there's other ones you can upgrade to later on in the bigger boats, like sonar. And you can see all kinds of stuff. I was like, wow, I was pretty blown away. Quite the simulator game. Yeah, how not to fish. That's a funny one. That would definitely be you, Joss. <laughs> and that field over there has some weeds in it. I think weeds are... I did leave weeds on, I think. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? Are you getting a planter, or what are you doing? I'm getting a fertilizer spreader and a cultivator. Weird. What are you stuck on? I don't know, the tractor just wouldn't move forward, but there was nothing in the road. Are you stuck on a hedge? It might have been like an extended collision or something. Maybe. This doesn't seem like it's going 12 miles an hour. This thing seems pretty slow. We don't have too much longer on this field, and then this one will be done. But then I have to get the wind rower, bring that down. I might end up just getting that trailer and bring it down here with a dolly and just having them. Because this, I bet that milling machine will fit on here. It'll be kind of oh, big yeah. for this, but um, I think the milling machine will fit on here, so I just need a, a dolly. I'll need one like concern I see with that is I notice sometimes like the distance between the pipe of the milling machine and like really big trailers it won't uh -huh. reach out to the end so it doesn't fill up completely yeah but with that one we could still stick like just over 200,000 in it yeah. before it starts cutting out so that's still pretty awesome <laughs> yeah Like, for the price of it. Can't really go wrong with that one. That was, like, my first kind of trailer I bought on Spectacle. I was, like, playing it slow, but at the same time, it's like, cool, I still am not able to fill it all the way up most of the time. And, like, why go buy a different one where you can just buy that one the first time? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap, too. It's only, like, what, 40 grand or something like that? Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's like really cheap for what it is. Yeah. I'm curious. I was gonna lease it for now. Oh no, it's 80 grand. Oh yeah, but I'll still be leasing that. What is it for yeah. lease? For lease, it is. 10 grand. Four. 
Oh, that's not bad. My math is way off. So, four grand for that. Dolly, milling machine, Swadro. And then once I get all this silage, or all this uh, stuff in here, I guess we're not... Yeah, we gotta compact the bunker, too. That's gonna take some time. I don't know, should we just run some more bales? For... Oh, for money? Yeah. We could, yeah. Because that's, like, instant. I think I might do that this time, and then we could do the milling machine on the next... 100 rounds. <laughs> uh -huh. Because, yeah, as soon as we wrap them, they're done, and then all we have to do is pick them up. I think we're we're going we're going that route because we already have the baler. Um, I, I could just trailer. yeah I could just use that one, or we could get that auto loading legal auto loading trailer now. Yeah, that's true. But it all uh, it all depends. I don't mind using the trailer that we have. That one wasn't bad. We were getting some pretty good some pretty good money, and I was filling the um, digester pretty quick there. FXTL set. How's it going, man? You said I am William Eckhart. What's up, man? How's it going? It's been a while. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you popping in. What have you been up to? Didn't recognize the name at first. Yeah, I haven't seen you on here for a long time. <laughs> Bad gamer mama, love you too. That's my wife's new uh, YouTube channel name there. Bad gamer mama. Yeah. Even though she's a she's a bad mama, she's a good she's a great mom, but she's a badass at the game. He said nothing. <laughs> Can I have your PSN name, please? I'm on. I'm no. You're no right now? You're on right now? Is that what you meant to say? Um. <laughs> you're so funny, honey. <laughs> uh, my PSN, which, like, we're. You could get on here right now, actually. It's open, but you gotta download all the mods that we have. Sorry for it, straight up. Uh, weren't you already a friend of mine? Let's say has, my my PSN hasn't changed. But yeah, anybody actually is really welcome to join here. We really don't have too many mods, so yeah, who knows, you know. It is not closed. It is open. I believe it's friends only, though. I'm pretty sure it's on. Maybe that's off as well. I'm going to check real quick. I think you turned that off. Friends only off. Max six players. International Oregon Trees game. I thought I add you. Oh. Uh, maybe you didn't, but my PSN is... Here, let's see if I can just type it in here real quick. Or you could always just find me by going into International, looking up my game name, and trying to join that way. Yeah, that's my PS4 name. Right, PSN? 
PlayStation name, right? Isn't that what it's PSN name or PSN? Yeah. But we are almost done over here. A couple more passes and we're all done mowing. Are you just gonna keep on focusing over there for now? Yeah, I'm just I'm getting everything done for it, and then I'll. Yeah, no worries. No, just keep on doing your thing over there. I do not mind multitasking at all. Like teaming up on one thing is is fine too, but you know, branching out and doing yeah, two, two jobs at the same time on. is yeah, it's way. It's always better to do more than one thing. More productive. Oh, you said you sent me a request? Yeah, no worries. I'm not going to be checking that right now because they'll cut right into the stream, but uh, you're more than welcome to uh, get smoked. Get smoked, M8. Get smoked, mate. Is that what you meant? Mate? M8? Mate? mate? <laughs> yeah, M8. Mate? mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get smoked. You get smoked, 503. I've had that name since, like, Back on the regular Xbox days. Back that's where that that's why I kept that name for so long, because back when I was playing Halo, like original Halo, Halo 2 and stuff, like when online first became a thing really, that was that was that name. You say, yeah, that's mate, yeah. M8, mate. I like that. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and fold this mower up. Take these back over. I did get all that mowing done over there. Right? <clears throat> There's been times where I'm like, I miss a whole patch. Well, better open up the gate now. Yeah, anybody can really join on here. Um, you know, that has a PS4, a PS5. This map and the mods that we have, which aren't very many. How many mods do you think are on here? Maybe a dozen? No, yeah. Maybe? 10 or 12. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing, the, bringing this back to the farm. We keep on parking everything over here at the biogas plant, but now we don't need to because we have our farm. I wanted this field here, so we bought it last on our last stream, and I didn't know the whole farm and the other field that he's working on over there. All of that was all attached to that same property, so we kind of made out pretty good on that purchase. It wasn't even that much money. For all of that. No, it was only what? How much was it? it was only like 130 okay. or something. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. I didn't think it was coming with the whole farm. Ah, oh, there he is. Look at him working over there. I thought she was over here hanging out. Contrary to Papa Rio's belief, I'm actually a hard worker. <laughs> It's a tight corner of that field. I know. Good looking tractor. Whoa, look at popping a wheelie. You notice that? Yeah, this thing's a little heavy. Yeah, you know, for a little front weight on that bad boy. <laughs> Grab this front mower. They'll hold that down. <laughs> Looks like you're doing okay, though. It's like you're popping a wheelie there for a second. I know. Oh, that's not the shed I meant for you to park the harvester in, but it's it's all good. I, just this... I don't remember what shed you said, so I just threw it in one. I might move it, because that the big shed is like really tall, like harvester tall. So there's a bigger shed. Yeah, this one's like wide, big. The other one's like taller. Oh. Uh oh man, this thing is clean. Did you even? Oh, the header's dirty. I was gonna say, did you even use this thing? You even wash it and it's so clean. <laughs> but I'm gonna spray this other stuff down because we have that that sprayer mod, right? Installed. I forgot what that one's called. The Agrimark? I don't remember if we got yeah, that one. We we might I'll check right now. So the harvester's parked back here in the back, sorta. 
Oh yeah, we do have it, the little agro mark. Ag yeah, agro mark. Yeah, this thing's tight, because you can just pull it out and spray wherever. Yeah. That's nice and handy. Ooh, breakfast time, Joss? What are you making us for breakfast? Because it's not breakfast time for me, but I'm always okay for breakfast. I actually went out to eat last night at the diner. It's uh, not too far from here. A little ways, but not too far of a drive, really. Uh, for some good food, and I got breakfast for dinner last night. I could go for that right now. Always good. So I'm gonna park this mower in the shed that you had the harvester in. Okay. I guess I could fit on that side. It's a good shed for trucks too. The one that you parked the harvester in the first time. It's a good, uh, good truck shed because you have uh, enough room to back in here. The other one's tall and good for trucks, but you don't have as much room. What truck are we gonna get? Uh, we're talking. Oh, no. we we're talking about getting the the Phoenix last time. That's weird that I can't uh, lower the mower. I have to unfold it to lower it. I should just be able to lower it down. To like drop it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, a little sprayer's cool. <clears throat> Simple cereal? I mean, you better get cooking. I want some eggs and bacon. <laughs> it's funny, uh, FXTL, he said, going AFK. It's so funny when people say that because... If you don't say anything in the chat and you come right back, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, unless I'm having a conversation with you and, like, hey, I'll be right back, you know? I don't, it doesn't make a difference if I know you're there or not, you know? Because if you're watching, you're watching. If not, you're not. <laughs> Man, those things shine up nice. I've been leaving all my stuff so dirty recently. I didn't even know we had the sprayer, so... Uh, I must have bought it last time. AFK, old habits. Is that what it is? Right, so that's all clean now. So we're gonna go buzz up to the store. And we're going to get Crone Swadra. Yeah, that's all I'm going to get from the store. Hopefully it's like, it shouldn't be too long to drive. No, it's not that bad, really. It's a pretty long machine, though. There's just a couple of roundabouts, right? No. Not oh no, south. going going down south is a roundabout. Yeah. Heck yeah, we'll do that. We'll get everything raked up into swath lines and we'll go ahead and wrap some bales and do all that stuff. You see, I mean, it's nice that people let you know they are still watching while doing something else. They can't chat. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. Usually it, I'll say that I can't chat, but I'm here. That's usually what I'll say instead of saying AFK. Because to me, AFK is like you're getting up away from your screen, you know? Like, yeah. I know it's away from keyboard, but I feel like if you're like AFK, it's like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. I won't be watching for a bit. But 
sometimes I'm at work and people are streaming like Farmer Cop. I can watch Farmer Cop, listen to Farmer Cop while I'm working because he does a really good job of uh, explaining everything and talking and comments. And he does a good job. He has, he has good content. And it's easy to carry along with while I'm listening to it, you know? So, but I'll usually say, hey, I'm here. I'm not chatting, but I'm here listening. He's super descriptive with his stuff. Yeah, he is. And Joss says, eggs and bacon or any cooking is too much effort. I just get cereal and get a bunch of milk and hydrate <laughs> before coffee. <laughs> before the coffee starts. Oh, man, coffee first for me. I usually don't eat right in the morning. I usually uh, wait until about first break at work or so. Or kind of about, usually a couple hours of being awake cup of coffee or two and I'm hungry after that. What about you? Do you eat in the morning or do you... I can't eat in the morning. It makes me feel sick. Yeah. I'm just like not hungry in the morning. I just want like some coffee, some water and some coffee. We got this traffic behind us back here. Yeah, the traffic on this map's fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like going out right here, I got to watch the turns like a semi. I didn't, never noticed that semi truck that was pulled over there before. And I have to make sure I'm on the correct side of the road before I get ran into. It's a bit of a drive to the store, but it's a nice little drive. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go in here and find this wind rower, Crone Squadro 2000. And it's going to be 3,700 to lease. We'll keep the Trelleborgs on it. We'll just keep everything standard. We'll go ahead and lease that for 37. FXTL said he's back. Well, thanks for letting me know you're back. Whoa, that thing just flipped us all the way around here. It's a good looking piece of equipment. Though. I've always liked that one, but it does slide a lot depending on what you're working yeah, on. Yeah, it's really heavy. Also, the way it turns is different too when it's like trailered up, like folded up. Because the way, yeah, the, the way the ass end swings around, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, doesn't it have like the uh, the assisted steering. It does, yeah. Yeah. So it turns a little weird sometimes. Oh, like I just ran into the pole there. Yeah, I've tried to get this thing into some pretty tight spots before. It doesn't do that well. That's why I was kind of like, um, I was thinking that it was tighter spots to go through here, but it's not. Just getting out of the store yard there. And that, that wasn't too bad either. That's what's up. We got seven people. Player started a party with me. Sorry, whoever player is trying to start a party with me, but I am already in a party. <laughs> Partied up right now, buddy. It's funny, people try to go on and like talk to me and stuff while I'm in a stream. Like, I'm obviously, mm -hmm. that's obvious I'm streaming. <laughs> You said a light breakfast won't make you sick. That's your trick. Yeah, some cereal. Yeah, I can see that. I like some toast maybe in the morning if I'm doing something. A little bit of toast or something with my coffee. Sometimes I want a little snack in the morning. It all depends on like the night before, the dinner before. That's what's up. We got eight people on here watching. I appreciate everybody being on tonight. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a good night tonight. 
appreciate you joining us. If anybody out there is new, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you like it, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out. Helps us get recognized, makes the YouTube thing happen, you know. But, just jumping on here with the homie on Addingham Park. I have not played this map at all without him, so... This is our map. We're starting all this together, so... He's making decisions just as much as I am. He's over there working on, uh... What is that, Field 36 over there? 36. Yep, yeah, it's a good one. I didn't even notice there was a field there. <laughs> FXTL said... How, he said, how dislike? How disliked? Sorry, am I crashing? <laughs> That's how. Um, somebody always, not always, but every once in a while I get somebody coming on and just hitting that thumbs down. But it's it's all good, right? They came on and gave me a view. I'm not sure what they're expecting to see when they're clicking on a farm sim live stream, but we're farming. It's not like... Um, the squad or anything, you know, we're not, we're not on that level by any means. I, I don't think I'll ever be on that level because, like, his content's cool, but it's not farm sim like the game is, you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just pure roleplay. Yeah, which is cool. He does a great job. Oh, yeah. You know he's worth a million dollars? Really? If you look up his net worth, I think it's a million. That's cool. Yeah, for farm simming. Pretty sweet. Look how wide this thing opens up. Isn't that crazy? That's why well, I've always liked this they one. they have, uh, like, didn't they start an actual farm, too? Uh, you know, I, I did hear something about that in the works, but I didn't actually hear if they did or not. Hmm. I know every once in a while he'll be out there at Coal the Corn Star's farm. Yeah. Do you ever watch Coal the Corn Star? No. Oh man, you watch Millennial, well, Millennial Farmer? Occasionally, yeah, Millennial Farmer I watch. Oh yeah, he's the man. Uh, him and I are almost the exact same age. Um, do you watch Pemberton Farms? Occasionally. Do you watch 10th Generation Dairy Farmer? Did, never heard of that one to be honest. Do you watch Larson Farms? Nope. Oh, I've never heard of that one either, to be honest. Um, yeah, I called the Corn Stars, helped uh, Chet Larson start up his little channel, and it's getting pretty popular now. Um, um, who else do I watch? Um, Brian's farming videos. You watch any of Brian's stuff? No. Oh, man. What about uh, Mike Mitchell? Do you watch Mike Mitchell? Mike, yeah. I, I know you're like you're, you're too busy doing your own farming in real life, right? I know. <laughs> Ever since getting on this, like, you know, big the big farm thing and trying to learn everything about farming, um, I think it helps in the game, gameplay and understanding the equipment and how stuff's done by oh, yeah, learning and watching all the real life stuff. And there's been videos where I've kind of talked about the equipment, you know, about oh I forgot these bales are sitting out here still. Where I've like talked about the equipment, you know, where it's like a real thing, but not so much in the game. Oh, I didn't want to turn it off. I have to pick these bales up out of my way really quick. I always forget about that. Hey, just one second, everybody. Go ahead and talk to everybody for just a minute there, and I'll be right back. Of course, he leaves when I'm thinking about leaving to go get food, because for some reason, everyone decides to mention food. Who, who was cooking breakfast? Was it Joss? Joss, were you cooking breakfast? I think it was Joss. Yeah, I don't know how he has the time to watch all that either. I don't, like he said, because I'm busy doing my actual farming. I don't know. Guess everyone's different. You know? All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Well, 
now I'm gonna leave and grab a pop tart or something because <laughs> no all this worries. talk about breakfast is making me hungry. <laughs> Joss said, "How do you find time to watch all of that <laughs> while I'm playing farming sim? Duh. In between silly P videos, duh." I, I always have like the farm videos going on YouTube. I watch YouTube all the time. Um, either watch it or if I'm at work, I'm listening. I drove right past that trailer today. Uh, I'm watching, uh, watching farming or listening to music while I'm at work, pretty much. So I always have the, always have the time. <laughs> Now I make time. I get behind on my videos, and you know, while I'm doing stuff on the game, I'll just kind of sit down and. Okay, I'm back. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, I was just telling him that in between. He said, "How do I find the time to watch all those videos?" And I was saying, uh -huh. like, in between, silly P videos, but also while I'm like playing the game. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully, I can get these bales out of here with this thing. I had to grab something to eat because. I was getting hungry. Well, well, you got a bag of chips? Kind of loud. <laughs> well, it's Pop Tart. And I was trying oh, to yeah, be quiet. right. You did say yeah. that. <laughs> you can never be quiet with these things. <laughs> That's funny. That bale's not really in my way, so if I can't get that one, it's not, not the end of the world. I'll just like need to get like this. I'll just need to get like the telehandler to grab that one. I think. But these bales are good. I'm gonna go drop these in the um, biogas plant. Get them processed in here. Why not, right? Five of them. Oh, there's actually two more over here. I missed a whole bunch of bales. <clears throat> it was dark that day, though. Yeah, there's two more there. So I'm, I'm putting seven bales in. But that's, that's not too bad for... Uh, me for getting some stuff, and we'll get some more digestate out of it. Do we have any digestate left? I think there's a little bit left. Well, we'll see how many bales I get going here. Oh man, I got snagged up on that <clears throat> that ladder coming in. And someone left this loading wagon right parked in front of the biogas plant gate. Or, uh, Gee, opening. I wonder who that was. I don't know. <laughs> Same person that left the Joskin tank in front of the... <laughs> um, the silage clamp. <laughs> parked right in the way. Gee, I wonder who that was. It's funny, because that, that was probably me, the Joskin was. I don't know, do we have anything in here? What do we got for digestate? Forgot you have to get right underneath this, huh? Pretty good. Right. Wow, we have yeah. 83,000 liters of digestate in here now. How much is that going for? We got money right now. It's going for twenty one hundred. Oh no! Oh, that's at. Oh, where's the slurry yard? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that was the right one. I thought it was at Mrs. Holland's uh, village shop for the digestate, but it's uh the slurry yard for twenty one hundred. It's going down. But maybe I'll do a load for us real quick. Cause what's that? Sixteen grand. I'll put those bales in there. I'll leave the tanker in front of the slurry yard. Oh man, that was a long drive to get over here. <laughs> Joss, he said I parked the Joskin. <laughs> <laughs> he also said enjoy your enjoy your food voice number two. <laughs> Joss, you know Le Muerte, right, from Discord? That's who's on here with me. He knows me. Yeah, he should. 
So I'm just going to leave this right here. At least now it's 9.42 and it's starting to brighten up. It was like really dark this morning on the map. <clears throat> Get back out, open this bad boy up. This will be uh, what's that? Twenty-eight thousand liters right here. All oh, right. Um, I forgot that I wanted to unload it. You know, I was lifting it. Oh, that worked out well. Yeah, I was like, when I backed up the trailer, I was unloading it so it tipped up onto the opening. Mm hmm I forgot to do that at that time, but they actually all went in there really well. <clears throat> Man, I really need to get some of this equipment taken back uh, over to the farm. Who are you talking about, uh, Joss? And then FXTL, you said, I do not. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hey, what's up, Eldon? How's it going? Glad, glad you could join us tonight. What's up, buddy? I'll leave that right there. He said, evening, Oregon, and chat. What about me? You're part of chat, I guess. <laughs> it's messed up. I know. He forgot all about you. I think he left you on purpose. Probably. Alright. It's a pretty big machine for this tractor, but it's pulling really well. As long as bales are out of my way. Alright. We're going again. And I can fast farm with this thing, but it does such a good job already. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we will fast farm with it. Get us going a little bit quicker. It's got to stay off of that hedge. Right, we got fast farming going now. Let's see how quick we get this done. This is how Joss would be doing it. Mm -hmm. Fast farming. Fast as you could go. Big as you could go. Is there a bigger wind rower than this one? Or, or is this... I don't think so. I think yeah. that is the biggest wind rower. Yeah. That'd be cool if they like made a ridiculous mod one that was like... The DB120, <laughs> you know? Oh, man. The 120, it'd be like the Crone Swadro 200,000. <laughs> well, that would be something crazy to see. Felden says, doing all right, thanks. Glad I finally made it through Monday in one piece. Yeah, that's good, finally. <laughs> you do... I do hope you're doing well. I am doing well, thanks. And not harassing the locals around Addingham too much. No, not too much. Not any more than Farmer Foley would be harassing everybody. <laughs> or Sealy P, you know. <laughs> no, we're doing pretty well. We're keeping ourselves over here in our fields, still setting up the farm. Only been in town a couple times, so we're not doing too bad there. Um... I hate to break it to you, but I think I'm about to piss off some of the locals. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Well, I got a six meter planter that I can't fold up. Well, that's okay. You don't have to do it all the time. 
Well, the roads are only about three meters wide. But you're just up here, right? Or are you going to the store? I'm at the store. Ah. Uh, but what'd you get that planter for? <laughs> for the carrots. You should have got one that folded. Well, I, th I thought this one folded, but yeah. I, uh... That's all right. We're new. We're new here. They'll, uh, I'm sure they'll forgive us. As long as we don't make it a habit. Oh, sweet. We do. Okay. I need to lease that. And... Oh, this will make some really good bales here. Not too glitchy so far. Like it's a little, I can feel a little frame rate drop doing this because we're like I'm fast farming, picking up all this grass, and you're doing your thing over there, and it's multiplayer. Uh, yeah. A lot of times, people have a lot of trouble with that. <laughs> Josh said, "You just go big, not fast." Yeah. <laughs> you. You plan a stream, it'll be in 11 hours? Well, for sure, man, I'll have to go on your channel and... I think maybe you have no I have notifications on already for yours? I'm not sure. You said the DB120 started as a joke. <laughs> Still is. <laughs> joke. <laughs> it's odd. Felden says, on nice last time I was there, the Muppets kept jumping out into the road right in front of, of my honking great big tractor that was bearing down on them. <laughs> That's so funny. He said those UK pedestrians will bloody like Americans. <laughs> you won't stream FC is? What? What are you talking about? Why can't I film this tank with seeds? Oh no, it's one of those weird tanks. What do you get? The Lemkin... Oh, you Lemkin got a Lemkin? Song. I like the Sorry. Lemkins. Did Can you get one that it's... needs a tank? <laughs> yeah, like... But the front tank won't fill. For whatever reason. I tried lifting it up with a skid steer, like the big bag over the hopper, and it won't load. Oh, you're not streaming? You said farm FC is Farmer Cop. I should have known that. Um, oh, SE, I mentioned Farmer Cop, so you thought I'd tell you that he's streaming. So you're not streaming, Joss? I thought you said that you were going to stream. I always get all the Farmer Cop updates because uh, I'm a member on his channel. I need to be on more of his stuff, though. He has good content. It's just like, man, for his videos are hard to keep up with because he puts out a lot. Do you watch Farmer Cop? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to go back and watch more Dagger when I haven't watched any of his stuff in a long time. Unfortunately. With everybody new that I've been meeting the past like month and some change, and like with everything else going on, um, it's hard to keep up with everybody, everybody's videos. Like Felden, there's stuff I have to go watch of yours. Uh, there's Warco stuff I have to catch up on. Um, a few other ones. Like I feel like every day I, just, I meet somebody new on Discord, and I'm like, oh, cool, you're... You also make videos. <laughs> Let's check that out. You know, it's like so hard to keep up with everybody. But that's what happens when we're in a community full of content creators and mod map makers and stuff like that. It's oh, all we, it's all we do. You know. <laughs> Oops, go back this way. So I'm just gonna start off by bailing this first field. 
Let's see if we can't hit our limit tonight, huh? That'd be a good payday if we could hit our limit of bales with these two fields. Yeah, that would be. I'm still trying to get this tank situation sorted. Well, let's see how much work I can get done before you figure out what you're doing over there. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I just can't get it to work. Yeah, you just gotta f figure it out. No, I'm cheating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No cheating on here. We're not PC players. Unfortunately. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Hey Felden, you're on uh You're on Xbox, right? He said so much good good content it's hard to keep up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Josh, you might do stream someday. Teach me how to farm series. Teach you how not to farm series. <laughs> That's what it should be. What what is a cheat? Yeah. What are you working on over there? It's a cheat. Um using a Vaderstadt with a Lumpkin. Oh man, that's fine. The Vaderstad? I think that's how you say that. I think it works. I don't know. I'm going to be and he's planting rolling. for everybody who's just tuning in that doesn't know what he's doing over there. He's getting ready to plant carrots on field it's 36. okay, I don't know what I'm doing either. It's okay. You probably know a little bit more about what you're doing than they do. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why I didn't take the tractor with me. I still need the tractor. I just, like, I brought the Swadro over to the other field and left it, but I left the tractor with it. I still need that. For me, it's like the the one tractor challenge recently. Everything with one tractor. Oh yeah, the baler's actually over here at the farm. Since we're working on taking everything over to the farm. Everything that was at the biogas plant, we're working on bringing it all over. We got nine people here watching. What is up, everybody? Whoa! I almost tipped over the fence. I'm going to be very. I can't oh, yeah. say I want to get the greenhouse going to too. Sorry, but I was interrupting you. What do you say? Well, I'm going to be very upset if uh, this doesn't work, but I don't think it's going to work because I'm stuck on the bridge surrounded by angry English folk. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, if you're fighting that one, just. I would say just return it and get whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about any, any money gets getting wasted. Or I could go and do one load uh, in the tanker with the digest aid and pay for whatever you're doing over there. So it's uh, not a big deal. Oh yeah, PC for you. Yeah, that's right. But you use a controller. He said you kind of play like you're on console, weirdly, even though you're not. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on the fences. It's funny, it's always the fences, they seem to be grabby. Grabbier. I like I like the collisions on stuff like that. You just gotta be a little bit more uh, aware of your driving. Alright, let's see how many bales. This thing's gonna make bales quick over here. And if they go rolling around, I don't really care because I think I'm going to get that. I'll get a truck and we're going to get that bale. Now maybe I'll just use the same wagon. Who knows? I kind of want the auto loading one, though. Uh, we'll see. That one kind of auto loads. just not like the auto loading stacking 30 bales. He said that's why you play big maps. <laughs> yeah, your big map, no man's land with no fences and no hedges. <laughs> we need the quad baler. Oh, is that that's that new mod, right? With the, it's like the rake and the baler, right? Isn't that what yeah, that one the... is? Yeah. Yeah, we should get that one on this map. Actually, I should download that mod. I haven't downloaded that one yet. 
But the quad baler only does square bales. Yes. Yeah, which that's fine. Especially on a, a rolly map, too, like a hilly map, you know, round bales roll away. But I'm not too worried about bales rolling around on this right now. So if I could totally be making a bale while that thing wraps, I'm just goofing around over here. But we're getting like 50% of the silage um, coming from these bales. Like that last round of digestate we did was so much. I think all of our planting issues are settled. Oh yeah, what do you do? I returned everything. Uh huh. And got a horse. Nice. And that folds too, huh? Yeah, it folds, which is kind of what we needed. Yep. Do you have the horse pack? I oh, know you don't have any DLC, do you? No, but the horse pack is free. Oh, is that a free one? So you have that one? I can get it. Yeah, if it's free, it's a good one to grab. Because I can have that one in here. I don't use too much stuff off of there, but there's a little fertilizer spreader I like on that one. The one that has the tracks. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I saw Mr. Silicky using that one once. Yeah. Yeah, this swath is so thick, it's just making bales quicker than I can wrap them. <laughs> Feldon says, uh, that's the best part of a hilly map, round bales. You can auto-collect them all at one at one end of the map, or one of the field. If you do it right, yeah, just roll them all yeah, down the hill. <laughs> I've done that before. Uh, Joss has no need for uh, to wait for bale wrapping. That's a good point there. With that um, quad baler, right? You don't have to, but if you want silage bales, you have to wrap them afterwards. Oh, I see. You, you have to wrap them after you're done. Yeah, it's just a square baler, so it just spits them out as you go along. Yeah. So it's like a square baler with a windrower on it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. That's why. That's probably why I haven't used that one yet, because we're using the crone swadro picking up this big old swath. cut it. I wish this bale wrapped just a little bit faster. I tell you what, that the Ursus bale trailer, I'll come back and get that spot. Uh, the Ursus bale wrapper, man, that thing wraps really slow. Like, it wraps fast, but it wraps a lot of times around. Yeah. It's so funny watching these bales roll around everywhere. I wish more bale balers and stuff had like bale counters on them. Oh yeah, that would be helpful. Some do. Tell you how many bales you've done. I think actually some of that crone, uh, uh, what was that, the straw harvest? DLC, yeah, those, those ones have counters. Yeah, maybe that's where I was seeing it. I think they should all have something like that. 22. Yeah, right? 22 would probably have all of that. I 
love that's gonna have all the different gearing options if it has that option, you know, all that different stuff. Yeah. Hey, Felden, did you watch uh, Ola Haldor's um, video? It's called. Uh, Sorry, I'm going back into my YouTube here real quick. If I can even find it, where did it go? So it's called FS22 <coughs> Rennie Bue. Rennie Bue? WIP update September 2021. Uh, make sure you guys go watch that. That map looks beautiful. He said it doesn't spit square bales, it poops them. Valdon <laughs> <laughs> says, oh god, yeah, the Ursus wrapper is so terribly slow. It is. It's nice looking, but man, that thing just spins and spins and spins. You might have to upgrade yours. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, get one of the combo ones. Like, you're talking about the combo one like this, the bale wrapper in one? Is that what you mean? The one I like a lot is the Alpine Expansion DLC bale wrapper. It's a little bit slower, but very, very similar to this one but it has the bale tipper on the end, so it tips the bales up. That's one thing that's good about the Ursus bale wrapper is the bale tipper. So if you're going around a hilly area, it tips the bales up for you. Yeah, right, bale wrapper combo unit. Yeah, for sure, just like this. Uh, check out that one from the Alpine DLC, because that one's a good one. Yeah, it's so much grass here, it's like just started wrapping and we're already full for another one. I would love to have a round baler that can actually keep up. Oh, probably work if I... Round balers were sideways, like long ways. Missing grass. Oh, you, know how, you know how a square baler does it? Where the bale comes out long ways? Yep. I wonder if a round baler did that. I wonder if you'd be able to just keep going without stopping and unloading. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know how you would do it because it's a twine and all that. I know it's kind of weird that when you're picking up the bales with, like the bale trailer that we have now that scoops them up off the ground. Uh huh. It turns them like it wants to grab them turned. Yeah. It doesn't just pick them up flat, like, the way they're facing coming off the baler. Like, it turns them, it faces them the other direction as it loads them. So, really, like, scooping those off the ground like that, we'd actually, in real life, we'd have to come from the other direction to scoop it up, up, up on the round side versus the flat ends, you know? Yeah, real life it's more just like side, like a snake, really. Yeah. So does that planter, that one have fertilizer in it too? Um, it does, but I already did all that to the field. Ah. You could have been doing that at the same time. Did you fertilize first? Yeah, fertilize and cultivate and fertilize again. Oh, you already did both the fertilizings? Yeah. Ah, okay. I was say, if you didn't do that one yet, you could have just finished it off with the 
when he planted it. No, I forgot that this planter is weird because it has a 9,000 liter capacity, but it only holds 2,000 liters of seed. The rest is all fertilizer. So when I was buying the seed, I bought way more than what I should have. Because I forgot this one was like that. Felden says, yes, you were thinking of the Pottinger one for the bale tip. Yeah, for sure, that's a good one. Either that or the modded version. Yeah, the one, the modded version of this right here that you can pick your different, your different custom colors. And you can change it from like, uh, I want to say the name, the K, the K-U-H-N. You know, I don't want to get in trouble by saying that name. The um, K brand. The K brand, the K name there. It's like this one, or it's like Deutzva, or maybe I just made it that color, the Deutzva green. Or is there a different modded one you're thinking of? He said because fashion farming. That's all about Honestly. the fashion. <laughs> ah, I keep doing that. I keep like while it's transitioning the bale to the back to the wrapper part, I keep driving forward and like driving over the grass. I've done that before where I didn't stop, I just kept going and I came back over and grabbed the grass I missed, but it's like so much more work doing it like that. Yeah. Just gotta wait for it to switch. I keep almost, I almost did the same thing again. Drop the bale, then it's not, didn't move the bale back yet. Ah, almost did again. It's like slow going over here with this grass. Like the crone swadro is almost. Almost makes the swath like too big. Or if you're doing like just square bales, it can spit them out quick. But wrapping bales, it's like, all right, now I gotta fill, now I gotta wait. A lot of bales, though. Like Mr. CLP would say, I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. Exactly. Felden says there's a mod pack that has that Baylor wrapper and some other base game ones. Uh, with custom colors, oh, I got you. For the body and wrap as well. I think that's part of that same pack I'm talking about. It's like this same baler is part of that pack, I'm pretty sure. You said you like that because of the cool looking stainless steel color. Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't see that one. I don't think. Maybe I. There was a bunch of color options. Maybe I just didn't pick that color. But that's that's that'd be neat looking, you know. Stainless steel looking uh baler. Stainless steel farm equipment always looks cool. Right. Yeah, Felden, I'll make sure I catch up on some of your videos. I'm be behind on a few, but I really enjoy your stuff, so I gotta make that. Gotta make a point to watch some of your stuff. Everybody, make sure you guys go over there and check out Feldon's channel, too, if you haven't already. Make sure you like and subscribe to all of his stuff. Pretty fun content you got there. I enjoy it.
could always drop a link a link to your channel there, Felden, too, if you want. Same, Joss, if you're still there and you, uh, if you want to drop a link to your channel as well, I don't mind. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I appreciate the shout-out. Man, no worries. I have no problem helping your guys' channels. No problem at all. Not even a little bit. And, like, Joss is hard to find on there, too, so any kind of uh, link that he could drop on there would help people find his channel a lot because his name is hard to find. You're easy to find on, on YouTube and stuff, but he's not that easy to find. He said, oh, sure thing. Let me get it quick. Yeah, do that. Anytime. You're always more than welcome to drop any kind of link in the, in the chat there. Are you planting carrots yet over there? Yeah, I got it working. Yeah? It's, it's going good now. Sound like you're getting tired. <laughs> Uh, it's maybe. not midnight yet. <laughs> oh, wow, you're right. Why does it feel so much later? Probably because you've been up early this morning. Because you went to yeah. bed too early last night. <laughs> Whatever, I gotta stay up and fix sleeping schedule. There you go. When's daylight saving, Sam? November something. 20th? Is it I November or is it October? No, it's in November. I know that. I think. That <laughs> Joss says Moerte needs more food. <laughs> I do need more food. Need some more fuel in that tank, huh? <laughs> I do too. I need more food too. We didn't want really to do dinner tonight. Um, we're just kind of like fend for ourselves tonight because uh, my wife was playing. Fortnite streaming her first her first uh, Fortnite stream on there. I bet she starts doing pretty well. Like she plays good and like she's like nice to talk to and stuff and everybody loves talking to her when she's playing on line and stuff with people. I bet her channel does pretty well. As long as she gets on there and keeps it going. Yeah, just keep the consistency. Yeah, she's a good gamer though. That jaw says November seventh in the USA. Oh, so it is November. October thirty first there, huh? Gotcha. It's getting big and so dark early now. It's crazy just a little bit ago it was like ten o'clock and it's still light out and then all of a sudden now it's like six thirty, seven o'clock and it's getting pretty dark. And dark in the morning too. It's always dark in the morning when I get up in the morning. Yeah, same. And it's, it's like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you get up before me. <laughs> oh, driving over some more grass. Got a lot of bales down here. And yeah, we still have a whole other field of grass over there. We're definitely not getting through all that tonight. But we're going to get all these bales going and see how many I can pick up and take over the old biogas plant. I kind of want to go get us a truck and a better, a bigger tanker. That way we can run some bigger loads right to the, bio, uh, the, the slurry yard there and get more money. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Just trying not to fall asleep yeah. while driving. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, if you ever, you know, come in late or need to leave early or whatever, it's all good, man. I'm saying this through to the end, in theory. <laughs> yeah, either way, it's all good, you know. There's a little pump. <clears throat> and there's a little pond right here by the field. If you see me in there, then you know what happened. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm going to jump over and see what you're doing right now. Let's go check out his work here. Hopefully I don't make him lag out too bad. Oh, man, you got the whole field almost done. 
it's so funny like when I z when I'm not that close to that it's like a different texture it looks orangey like you're planting carrots yeah it does oh you see that too yeah at the far end of the field I can see it yeah orangey yeah that's cool so this will be our first you haven't harvested carrots before either right I don't think I have not on any other map yeah so this will be our first carrot harvest on this field here we should do pretty well I'm not even sure what carrots are paying out I think they're like potatoes yeah about that onions and carrots are about the same Let's see what our potatoes go for potatoes are a little bit higher but I bet carrots yield out really big Ooh, now you got me yawning ha we must get to the end Felton says new bales by FT 2020 mods that's the pack with the steel color option. I'll have to check that one out. Thanks for letting us know. And you guys make sure you drop a drop a link to your channels in the chat so everybody sees that. Joss and Felden. Or anybody else that wants to. It's all good, too. You know, once we get, like, busier and, like, a bigger channel going, more busy on the chat, then maybe not as much of that going but yeah it's just you guys having fun hanging out supporting my channel so yeah, I gotta show you guys some love too you know like we all talk about it's not enough time to watch everybody's videos you know all the time but you guys still come and spend some time watching my videos and show me some love I really appreciate it You ever zone out and forget what you're doing? Oh, yeah, all the time. I, I just did that for about, I don't know, however long you were talking. But There's I been mean, times where I'm driving, yeah. just like driving on like, maybe not a road trip, but like a, a decent drive, you know? And I'm just mm -hmm. like zoning out, I'm like, oh man, where am I? And I gotta like look around, like, where the heck am I? <laughs> totally driving where I'm supposed to be driving, but like, man, where am I? <laughs> totally zoning out. I forget what they call that. Um, they actually use that as an example, like driving home from work. Like you don't think about the drive, all of a sudden, boom, you're to where you need to be. You don't like think about the whole in between. I forgot what they call that. I remember one time, me and my girlfriend were driving around hanging out, and we were sp supposed to go somewhere, and I just ended up driving right past it, and she didn't say anything, and I didn't realize, so I just kept driving. <laughs> I just kept going straight down the road for like two miles and then it hit me like oh we were supposed to go back there oh, that's funny whoops <laughs> she didn't care she was just playing on her phone oh. I didn't even know what was going on apparently she didn't either my wife would have been like we would have been like mid mid intersection she would like help oh, you missed your turn mm-hmm <laughs> Like, oh, sorry, I was zoned out driving. I always tell her I'm, right I'm, I'm on autopilot, she's on co pilot. <laughs> Especially about if I've done the same route so many times, but yet this time we're going the other direction, you know? Like, whoops, oh, yeah. I was almost gonna go north, but this time we're actually going south. I did that just yesterday, actually. Oh, look at him, here he is over here. You gonna pick up some bales? The field's done. You gonna pick up bales for me now? But see how you're picking them up, how you're picking them up from a flat, and then it turns it? Yeah, it turns them. So really, you should be like, turn the other direction. Coming off the baler, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I see why it's that direction, but like a bale turner, or instead of like a bale tipper. They have those. Oh, I'm sure. Because, you know, going the other direction to pick them up is kind of weird. If you're just going like in a straight line to pick them up this direction. Yeah.
then again, if you look at this uh, or I guess you would call it the thing that like actually scooped up the bale, it's kind of like got curved edges. So if you do come at it like flat, it would twist it as you're moving. Yeah, kind of spin it. Yeah. How many bales does that one hold? It's like 12? 12. Yeah, that's good though. Uh, I got a bale in my way. Let's move out of the way. I'm going, I'm moving, I'm moving. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I was going to hit the bale for you. <laughs> Oh, you got full load. Yeah. So yeah, remember how I was talking about you got like when you're tipping that up, like back up to the thing first, then tip it up. Oh yeah. My cat and dog are running around like crazy. Oh man, the Joss is out of here. Hey, he said, "All right, time for me to head over to this customer." <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Joss. I appreciate you being on. Um, you should drop a link to your YouTube channel next time. I'll bug you about it again because his channel is hard to find. If you just like search him, it's like so hard to find his channel. But you know, you could always go on to. You know, Marilla's Discord or whoever's Discord and find his links to his videos on there. Cause he'll usually he'll usually post his video. Yeah. It's usually how not to farm. <laughs> How many bales do you think we made out here on this field this time? I don't even remember what we made last time. Me either. I know that we got... What was that, 76,000? I think Shane ended up getting the right number on that. It's like, I said 80. But it was like $76,000 off of just the biogas plant. So I can't remember like the price we were getting. I don't even know what the price is going for silage right now. Uh, 344, it's not down at all, so we're doing... Oh, that's the livestock barn. Where's the biogas plant? Oh, I was going to say, does it not show it? Oh, 360 at the biogas plant. That's probably an all-day-long price. Maybe that one doesn't fluctuate. Yeah, usually it doesn't. Yeah, for the biogas plant. But that's okay price, so we're getting like 360 times 4. What's that, 14 something per bale? Yeah. 720 times 2, 1440? Yeah, 1440. 1440 per bale. So if we're looking at that number, you know, we only did, you know, we got 76,000 from the biogas plant last time. What's that, 50 something bales? 60 bales? Yeah, it was, I think it was around 60 last time. 60 bales? Yeah. Yeah, to get 76,000? It was something about 60, like 61 or something. Something like that. Because we can't keep track of that, right, on multiplayer? No, there's no way to check it. Yeah, hopefully in 22 it's, you have all the stats and stuff. You know, it'd be cool to, like, know your stats on your map, even if it's a multiplayer map. Because I want to see what we did, you know? I wish every option was you're able to do a multiplayer.
Yeah. <laughs> Feldman says good night or farewell, farewell, Joss. He said good luck with that customer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good luck. I didn't know he was at work. I thought he was just hanging out. <laughs> For some reason, it wasn't letting me drop the bail off of there. I kept pushing the pushing the buttons. I have a couple live stream, uh, sorry, not live stream, a couple time lapse videos. I also have to finish up and get out there. I have them in the share factory, but I don't have them all done yet. Yeah. I, I need to figure out how to get music to my share factory. PC. Yeah, I know. I just need to. Actually, what I just need to do is get, like, because I need an SD card, right? Or not, I can use my hard drive, right? Yeah, you might. External, use external hard, hard drive. drive. I have a two terabyte external hard drive for my PlayStation. Yeah, you might, you might be able to use that one. Yeah, I'll try. I know most people just use a little USB like thumb drive. Oh yeah, maybe I'll just get one of those. I might even just have one actually. Still, I might need to get some different music for my videos instead of just using. PlayStation share or, uh, share factory music. Yeah. Which it's it's okay, you know, but they don't have enough options. The bail's rolling. Yeah, there's some cuz like you can get different share factory themes. Yeah. Some of them have music and depending on like what theme you get, the music's pretty good. Oh, okay. I'll have to check out the different ones then. How much do you have in that um, digester over there? Digester is. Well, hold on, I'm going to empty this load. Yep. Because we can 96,000. Oh, yeah, I'm going to start speeding up time a bit here. Just like times five, that way it's starting to process a little bit faster. Just keep an eye on it. If it gets full, we'll speed time up even more. It's only 10.30, uh -huh. so. Nah, it's pretty good. Like, it's, it gets down by the time I get back. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Feldman says, speaking of FS22, how about that cross-platform multiplayer announcement? Well, how about it, man? Talk about, uh, Mr. Sealy P would say, Game Changer. Especially in the beginning of it, I was talking about this earlier too. In the beginning of it, uh, we're all going to be limited. PC players, as well, will be limited on what mods are out right away because it's going to be all base game. So, like setting up maps right away, where PC guys like you and I, you know, we could all PC guys like you and console guys like me, we could all get together and play. And uh, if you, like Felden, if you start up a map, there could be 16 of us that jump in and play on yours, and even console can join. So if, uh, you know, as long as it's not crazy stuff, but right in the beginning, it's all going to be the same stuff. So I think it'd be fun for a lot of us to get together and have a uh, big old FS22 kind of get together. Just got to find the right person to kind of host it on the PC end. But, you know, there's a bunch of people out there. But you would be a, a really good host for that there, Felton, I think. That would be pretty cool. Goggle Pop and uh, no, no, it was uh, Farmer Foley. I'm pretty sure Farmer Foley's idea. He was talking about when the new multiplayer comes out or the new uh, crossplay comes out that we could all jump on the admins and moderators from the Silly Peeps. We could all get on there and play with Mr. Silly P to try oh. out the multiplayer stuff. And he said it'd be a good idea. <laughs> So there's a big chance that I might be able to get to play with the man himself. I'm not a moderator, so y'all yeah. have fun. Oh, we will. 
but like just the, the chance of getting to do that would be uh, pretty mm -hmm. epic, you know? Oh, yeah. The fact that he doesn't do that with many people very much ever, so I, I might not get the chance, you know, but it's a possibility. You know, so Help. even even having the possibility of being able to do something like that is mind blowing. Help. Huh? Help. What are you doing? I don't know. Whoa. You need to get rammed? <laughs> oh no, we're good. I got it. Ah I mean I was gonna plow into you. <laughs> I've always been really big into farm farm sim stuff, you know, but like the past like, you know, month, month and a half or whatever, getting to know everybody on the Discord is like almost taking the game to a whole new level for me, knowing the people that make the stuff and maps and like it's oh, pretty, yeah. pretty insane. I never thought I'd be so uh, in depth in a game ever, you know, and it's like Farm Sim, like, in the game world, Farm Sim is not a popular game, you know? Most people don't even know what Farming Simulator is. Yeah. Like, they can get it if you tell them, oh, it's a simulating game, you know, for farming. Like, they kind of get it, but, like, once you're in the Farm Sim, you're, like, it's, like, a, a way of life, you know? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Like, I've never played a game. I've played a lot of games, and, I've, and so have you, right? But I've never played a game more than this game. Have you played a game more than Farm Sim? Well, you haven't played Farm Sim that much, though. Right? You've only just... I've only played it six months? a year. Oh, a year. Whenever it was free. So, yeah, it's yeah about, about a year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good free game. Good job picking it up on the free game. Oh, man. I farm and then farm simulator. It's just yeah, like, oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. It's e easy. Yeah, no brainer. Yeah. But either way, like not even just you picking it up, just anybody picking that one up as a free one. This is an awesome game. So like, it's only forty bucks. No, it's fifteen now. To buy it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you go to the store like. Um, oh well, yeah. You get GameStop, I think, or Walmart, something. thirty bucks or whatever. Yeah, but if you just buy it digitally from the PlayStation, it's only 15 bucks. Yeah. Can you believe I got another thumbs down tonight? That's crazy to me. Maybe they're just not hitting the right one. Maybe they're holding their uh, holding their phone or computer or tablet upside down and hitting the wrong thumb or something. I don't know. <laughs> Getting some views from them, though, I guess. I'm not too worried about it. This is going to be... Uh, it's starting to go. We have 11 thumbs up to make up for those two thumbs down, so we're still doing pretty well. <laughs> I don't like the thumbs up, but you know, it's not. That's not what it's about. We're all having a good time. We got people here, chilling and watching, supporting the channel. It's all that really matters. You need better internet to host one yourself, but definitely a game changer. You said you do like how consoles can rent servers too. I love that, yeah. That can mean big changes for uh, Farm Sim League too. Oh man, I didn't even think about the Farm Sim League. Great demand at Mrs. Holland's Village Shop. Don't mind me. Just, uh... Okay, what are you doing? Nothing. You get stuck over there? Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, it's... It's, it's stuck, alright. Is it? I could grab the telehandler. Yeah, well, there's a bale that was like in the corner, so I unfolded the trailer, unhooked it, and then pushed the trailer from the back into the bale, <laughs> which worked, but now I can't get it out of the corner. Oh, well, we're gonna have to fix that. That thing's supposed to be making us money over there. Let's jump in here and see if I can help you out with this telehandler here. Yeah, for farm, he's talking about Farm Sim League. Game changer for multiplayer crossplay. It'd be fun to have like bigger events, you know, like not just the Farm Sim League by itself, but 
be able to get into get into games, you know, where it's like already set up as like a farm sim kind of map, farm sim league map, where you gotta do all the challenges and stuff. Yeah. You know how you gotta get into Call of Duty and you're like, oh, I want Team Deathmatch or whatever, you know, like you can pick all the different options. Yeah. It'd be cool to have options like that. I wonder if I could just kind of pick it up. I was gonna like reach over and grab it and try and drag it out, but I'm gonna just be able to pick it up and pull it back a little bit. Or maybe not. Here, let me, uh, I gotta pull this end out here on the back real quick. It's up against the hedge. Almost put it right on the hitch there for you. I'm moving. I'm just gonna take it, dump it for you too while I'm at it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm popping your tire. Out of my tire. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a bail with me on the way back. Fair enough. Should try and grab two bales on the way back, huh? Oh, that one didn't stick very good then. There we go. Take two bales with us on the way back. <laughs> yeah, Felden says having console players maybe being able to join FSL tournaments. That would be awesome, yeah, for sure. You'll have to go poke Kermit about that and see if he knows anything. He, he, for sure, we'll have to talk to Kermit about that one. Well, I, I wasn't thinking about Farm Sim League. That's kind of, kind of opens up a whole new door there, you know? Yeah, it really does. Because that would be cool if you could, like, join. Yeah, look like how he's doing this. We're dumping him right on top of here like that. So when they get unloaded, it's just sitting right up on top. And he unloads and we dump them right in just like that. Oh, is it full? I guess it's full. It is full. We're going to have to turn time up a little bit faster. And then once the time goes, where does he break it? No, they'll probably go away as it... can see it's consuming it, but it's not at the same time. It's taking a little bit, yeah, a little bit out of each bale at a time. Yeah, probably. And then it runs through that. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. I'm gonna eat right through those bales, probably. Oh, there went another one. I'm surprised it's not going faster. Where are you going? As soon as I touch that one bale, it just went away. All right, get off of there. Yep, and those will sit there for a bit. I might even speed up time more, because you're going to go get another load pretty quick. Yeah. Well, maybe pretty quick. We'll see how you do. Depends on how many times you get stuck. Hopefully none, but I'm also texting right now, so... Texting while driving? No wonder you're getting stuck. No, I'm parked in a field. <laughs> Felon says, definitely, from what I understand, uh, servers, yeah, for sure. Was one of the main reasons that console players couldn't participate in the previous season. Ah, but yeah, now... FS22 and uh, Nitrado, right? As you say that, they say Nitrado. That's the uh, server service, right? Server um, site. How much does a server cost? Uh, CP said it was like fifteen pounds a month. And what's that like? Fifteen dollars? No, it's probably around twenty-ish, twenty-one, twenty-two. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's still pretty cheap. 
And I could hear you picking those bales up so loud and you're way over there. Yeah, if you hop in the telehandler and you start moving the boom around, I can hear it. For some reason, that's like really loud no matter what. Interesting. The like field any hydraulic sounds in the game are super loud. Huh. Never noticed that know. before. Alright, well, while he's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the baler right here, I think, will be not in the way. Oh, man, our grass is growing fast. I'm going to turn down our uh, plant growth. Normal. But did our carrots grow already? Oh, our carrots are growing already. They got weeds. Yeah, they do. But we got carrots. Go like, man, we got a lot of carrots, but it's mostly weeds. Yeah, we'll have to get a little sprayer over there pretty soon. Quite a few bales to go still. But growth is on normal now, so we don't have to worry about it as much. Let's go ahead and get this other field raked up before we get buried with longer grass. I forget about that, playing on slow seasons and then jumping over here playing like fast growth, you know? It's like, whoa. Yeah. One day it's like our fields are all grown versus 200 hours of gameplay and now our fields are grown. I almost thought my grass wasn't going to grow at all. It took so long. I do love the fact, too, that we've been playing and doing bailing. We've been doing the stuff that usually people say is not good for multiplayer. Yeah. And I haven't had one little hiccup. I know it's on my... I'm hosting this, you know, but it's been really good for you as well, huh? Yeah. Right as I said something, you started getting all glitchy. What? Uh -oh. oh, man, what happened? Right when I said something, he got kicked out. He left the server. He's over there spinning in circles. I still kind of hear him on the party, but he's probably going to have to leave the party as well. I'm not sure what's going on with his signal there. Yeah, he just left the party. Unfortunately, he might be back. We'll see what's going on. Oh, yeah, about 18 and 20 bucks. <laughs> he said it might be 15, too. He said everything in Farm Sims. Or Farm Sims, everything is the same number, just pounds, euros, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just changes the symbol, doesn't change the amount. Well, that's cheap, though. Um, one of the ideas on Mr. Sealy P's channel that we were talking about today and uh, the moderators and admin stuff is uh, maybe getting him to start his channel because he just started merch. So he has merchandise that they just started. I think it's limited in number. Um, hey, what's up, man? You back? Whoa. He joined the party, but I can't hear him. Um, so he has merch now. He has like some shirts, hoodies, different stuff on a silly P logos. He's talking about different, uh, different little phrases that he says on the shirts. And then he was also talking about, um, he has like hoodies, mugs. I forget. He's a bunch of stuff that he's working on doing. I bet it can, I bet his merch should go pretty far. I'm glad he's finally doing that now for his, uh, for his channel. All the other big channels do it. So he might as well get in on some of that action. Uh, but we were also talking about starting mem a membership on his channel. I know he doesn't do that much, and he hasn't done that ever before, because he doesn't want people to pay for his videos. He doesn't want people to have to pay to watch. But it is his job. That's his income, is the channel. So, you know, maybe extra perks for the membership stuff, and, you know, maybe a a server for members, but we were also talking about maybe uh, the membership might help pay for an open CLP server or two or three or four, you know, for 
um, YouTube subscribers and also for Discord members and stuff like that. We can get something going pretty cool off of that. But he's always not. He's not. He's always been kind of against that because he didn't. He didn't want to charge people to be able to watch his videos. You know, he gets paid from YouTube for people watching his videos, but you know, having a, a membership there, where all there'd be like a lot of free stuff too, but a lot of memberships just have the extra perks with it, you know, the extra behind the scenes stuff, or maybe a time to chat with them, or who knows what, you know, it could be, could be uh, whatever. Extra videos that only members, members only get to see, stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you say, oh yeah, I need to order a t-shirt? Yeah, for me. Or, uh, for me. <laughs> for, uh, for me too, I need to order a t-shirt as well. It'd be actually really cool to order a t-shirt and get him to sign it before you shipped it over. I could just let him know it's me ordering one, and then, hey, do you mind jotting down your name on there for me, too? I'll totally get it hung up, like, because someday I want, like, the whole, uh, oh, man. I was like, why is it getting dark? But it totally is getting dark on us already. Um, I want, like, eventually have, like, the face cam on my streams and... You know, you guys can see me. I want all, like, the memorabilia hung up and on shelves behind me and nice lighting. So, like, anything uh, farm sim related or anything like that farming related will be uh, definitely, definitely there. So, like, having a Sealy P shirt or hoodie or I, I think I want to get a coffee cup as well. I like co collecting coffee cups. So, if he has a Sealy P mug, I think that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind finding the Giants mug, too. Like the one they, they have that in the game, the mod or whatever. Speed this up a bit here. So it looks like La Muerte is gone. The death is gone. Every once in a while, I'm not sure what's going on with his signal. Um, he says that people run into his cell tower or whatever out there all the time but not sure what's going on now but right as soon as I said something he got kicked off I don't think that was anything we were doing here on this end I just think that's uh, his signal there but so far we've been doing a lot of bailing a lot of grass work and different stuff like that multiplayer and that's what people avoid a lot of multiplayer it has been very smooth you know we're not like doing any terraforming of the land we're not doing anything uh, crazy like that we don't have anything that we shouldn't have going on here uh, but we're doing a lot of grass work a lot of bales and still to, doing really well even like when I'm in the menus and stuff like that I don't get he doesn't get laggy and I don't either when he's in the menu so it's been a very clean uh, multiplayer stream so or stream or series so far and like I said, too, if anybody's on PS4 uh, or 5 and they got this map and the maybe 10 or a dozen mods or whatever that are on here, you guys can, or you're more than welcome to join. This is a open multiplayer server. Not server, but, right? Would it still be a server? Not an open server, but uh, my server I'm hosting, I guess. But it is open. So all you gotta do is get the map, get the mods, and you can join. And if you're watching this at a later date and you do want to join, just jot it down there in the comments. And we could uh, link up and play together, and then we could, uh, you know, do some live streaming together if you're down for that. I was thinking about running a Felsbrun multiplayer uh, live stream pretty soon. Like, not tonight, obviously, but in the near future, running one of those with no mods on Felsbrun. Whoa. This tractor's not really heavy enough to be pulling this thing around and doing all that. It's a big wind rower. What I like about this one, if you're using like a 45 foot draper header, this thing's wide enough to pick up to pick up in between two of your swath lines. So, like, if you do, um, 
you know, you harvest on one side, you harvest on the other side, you have two swath lines. This thing can reach out and grab both, putting them into one big swath, uh, easier to collect your straw bales and stuff like that. <laughs> La muerte! <laughs> He said your inner, like your, it's literally like your internet knows you're playing with someone. You said when you're by yourself, you have no issues. Yeah, and it's all good, man. No worries, because this is bringing it to the end of the stream. You didn't miss a whole lot. I just saw you spinning in circles over there, and all of a sudden it kicked your butt out. So, not sure what happened there. I'm sure it's just like your internet or whatever is causing problems, but. I really appreciate everybody being on tonight. I had fun on this stream. I know it was just grass work and mowing, but always a blast. Appreciate everybody's time. Like I always say, if anybody's new out there, please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more going on. Uh, if anybody is liking it and didn't hit that thumbs up yet, please help out. Hit that thumbs up. Had a couple of haters tonight hit that thumbs down, but it's all good, man. We're just going to keep on pushing through and keep on making more videos. So no worries. Um, Thanks again, everybody. Appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.